I can't imagine what's involved in keeping this place running. Uh, how do you preserve? I mean, we're how many miles from the coastline here? Uh, about one, maybe two at the maximum. So, and we're here in Oregon, which is the rain place. Yes. <laughs> what do you do to keep this structure intact? Um, what's involved in keeping it operational? And how do you preserve it? Yeah, so that's a really great question. Um, Honestly, there hasn't been much in the way of maintenance. So there's been some work with the national parks in the past and some grant funding has come in over the years to help with the box beams and do some structural analysis to make sure everything was sound and safe. Um, but realistically, there's not been a whole lot of big maintenance projects. In the last several years, we've worked on figuring out phasing the roofing project because you're looking at main roof, ventilation, the actual box beam structures, and several components that are all huge projects. Yeah, so, there's nothing small. Yeah, there's no small yeah. <laughs> feats to be done. Um, so to date, there really hasn't been any major projects accomplished, but we do have plans for future on phasing that out because we're looking at huge you know, expensive things that need to be done to maintain this for the future. So. Yeah. You know, I, I remember when I was like this this tall, watching, um, was that Disney movie? I think it was Disney Rocketeer. Okay. The guy with his rocket pack, and it was this kind of this era of history. And that's what a lot of this reminds me of, is there's a whole element of World War II history that I never hear about, that I'm not familiar with, and the lighter than air um, program. I mean, that's just, that's something that doesn't get featured, but it is so... It's very interesting. I mean, who, who doesn't see a blimp and go like, whoa, hey, wow, you know? So to find out that that was going on all along the coast, that's really something. How does someone get involved in helping with this literally monumental effort? Yeah, um, so we have a nonprofit, the Friends of the Tillamook Museum, Air Museum, um, and they are kind of tasked with looking for fundraising, growing their board and volunteers for the museum itself or for fundraising projects. Um, so they're a great group that is kind of heading on the bigger funding aspects of it. But again, you can always reach out to myself or my curation staff. We're in contact with all of the state historic preservation and you know, kind of know what kind of funding is coming down the pipeline as far as what we're looking for in facilities and infrastructure. So that'd be Friends of Tillamook Air Museum. Yeah. And then this here is the Tillamook Air Museum. Correct. Do you guys have like a Facebook page or anything like that? We do. So right. the Air Museum has Tillamook Air Museum. We also have an Instagram. Okay. Um, we have our website, which is tillamookair.com. And then the Friends have a website you can get to through our website on our donations page, or you can go to them directly by looking up Friends of Tillamook Air Museum. Perfect. Thank you very much, Rita. This is a really, really great place. Well worth the time to stop and just literally take it all in. Um, both my wife and I, we can't, we've seen this place. We've passed by this place several times. But to walk in and actually be in it, it's it, you, you can't get it simply by looking online. You'd have to come here. It's really something spectacular.